Okay, so today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to save a record from one site into another website and um, into family search or ancestry because sometimes you'll find documentation or records elsewhere you don't want to have to type everything in well this is the way to go okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to recordseek.com and this will be the page that you'll get to and you're going to want to take this little record seek button this little green button down here just click on it and hold it down hold your cursor down on it as you drag it up to your toolbar okay now you'll see that I have record seek up on my toolbar so that I'm going to use that in just a minute okay so I have this record here that I found in ancestry and it's actually a land record if you've never looked at any of these US land records from the 1800s I would challenge you to do so because they're kind of cool this one is from 1820 and signed by the by President Andrew Jackson so that's kind of cool okay but I want to I don't have this in family search for him and I want to save this into his sources so what I'm gonna do actually something that's gonna make it really easy for me in just a minute is I'm gonna come to his page in family search I have that open and I'm gonna click on his ID so I'm gonna click copy ID okay and then I'm gonna come back here and look at the record again and now this is another step it's not necessary but I find it helpful and I'll show you why in just a sec so I'm gonna highlight the information there now I'm gonna click that button record seek okay that opens up this little window this box and it has taken all the information and created a source for me so here's the title here's the URL Here's where the record is found. And then everything that I highlighted is in these record notes. So that's why I said it's not necessary, but it is super helpful because then when you're looking at the sources on Family Search, you can say, oh, what was this? Oh, well, then you've got these notes explaining exactly what it was. And you can even add to that. You can type in and add to that if you want. So now that I have this part done, I'm going to click Next so it gives you the option you can search the person by name and event which is totally fine you can do that but sometimes there might be a similar person you don't want to duplicate it so um, that's why I went ahead and copied his ID number a minute ago so this is probably from the last person I did so I'm going to delete that and I'm just going to paste his ID number um, right there and then I know it's going to go straight to his person page. Okay, so then it says um, attach source and asks why. And I'll just say land record um, gives name and location. And you could say whatever you want. So I'm going to create it and attach it. Okay, so congratulations. I created that source of you on family search if I want to see it. I can go into his sources and you'll see right here now here is the source that I just created and it was super super easy so um, I highly recommend using record seek it works both ways you can actually um, you can always create one in um, ancestry as well sorry it's trying to recreate the same record um, but you can also save things into your ancestry tree so I would recommend getting it and using it, it will save you a lot of time and just let us know if you have any questions